Welcome back everyone and welcome to my channel. Good to talk to you once again. And what do you know? New patch and new rewards and also new ships. Uh, Karl Johan, that's the Swedish words for, or Penny Rupin, uh, were Karl Johan. Uh, it's very interesting uh, battleship with a lot of gimmick, good secondary and uh, I don't know, maybe it has the Hallands torps, something like that, or Österjötlands torpedoes, 13 kilometers, yes. It is kind of a, a fun ship, perhaps, if you want to put uh, uh, 19,300 uh, doubloons. Uh, once again, it's not a bad ship. The only concern about uh, tier 9 overall is that sometimes you face a lot of tier 11. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> so the matchmaking is not that great. However, guys, today I'm gonna talk about uh, new, brand new ships that I will, uh, together with you guys, uh, research for free. Because why not? Why not? I did play uh, all my tier 11s and tier 10s and some tier 9s ships in Coop Battle, and I will receive this one for free because I don't have it, so why not get it for free? Because free, I do like the word free, you know what I mean? Uh, anyhow, um, but I will not just get this uh, particular ship. I will also uh, probably will have the, the best French captain in this game. Yeah, how about that? How about receiving a brand new tier 8 light cruiser, which I will talk about uh, why it's kind of important, especially if you are new in this game, especially if you don't have any uh, premium ship. I highly recommend if you have opportunity to play low tier, whatever ships you do have, you know, and try to gain at least, uh, if you have enough time, of course, uh, 6,200 uh, those uh, uh, festive tokens and voila, you get a brand new tier 8 uh, premium ship. But now, for us, which has a lot of tier 10s, it's of course much easier because you you will eventually get those 6200 uh, uh, festival points much, much faster. But now guys, I do have a lot of, uh, you know, alright-ish captains. Yeah, this is the captain, I received it for free, complete it's the mission, I also received this dude for free. And Gunther Lutje I actually purchased, this does the w first uh, captain uh, which I purchased and I highly recommend if you uh, play Hindeberg or Mainz or whatever, this is one hell of a OP strong as all hell captain. And thanks to this captain, the um, entire... Uh, you know, German cruiser line are way, way stronger with or without it, uh, of course. It's t almost twice as good with this dude, dude captain, because you'll probably uh, achieve this uh, special achievement each and every time, and especially in missions, you know, those tier 6 to tier 8 missions, you know, weekly missions. With this combination with this dude, yes, I will talk about him. But now let's, guys, and le let's go, and let's go and... Uh, by the Philippe, 175,000 the blues, <laughs> but it is worth it. Now, this, the reason I'm making this video, this purchase first new players. Guys, why you want to buy these badass captains? And by the way, even if you, let's say, you want to buy this Kutnivo, which is a great captain, uh, gosh, I only have 46,000 coal, so I'm low in coal, you know, I will just save, you know what I mean? Or you can uh, combine this with steel and coal, yes, you can also do that. But w what I'm trying to say, guys, it's, it is kind of uh, important. He only has 10 points captain, and the Felipe also has 10 points captain. So what do you do with 10 points captain? It's kind of a crap to play with tier 10 uh, uh, captains only. What you go on to do, and this is the reason why I want to you guys to uh, pay attention. This is my brand new uh, Bayard. Bayard, here we come. Um, and... What is this? Uh, no good. Uh, this is what I received with, with this ship uh, for free. So what you want to do, uh, ladies and gents, you you uh, right click and you press uh, send to river uh, re river uh, reserve and then um, assign captain and then you put the best damn captain you can have and that is the Philippe. 
But before you do that, you have to um, consider um, for, you know, this is after all a, a premium ship. So you probably you want to uh, put this captain first thing is first at uh, you know, the regular test tree ship. And then you want to um, train him. So I have a uh, 10 points captain, but you know what? I will not do that. So once again, guys, I will not uh, put any skills to this dude before I make my mind if this will be a Republic or a Kleber captain, you know what I mean? So uh, the reason why I want to do that because I don't want to spend any 500 doubloons, you know? Yes, you can um, uh, respect uh, with the, what do you call it? Elite ca command, ca points you know that's you you can do but that Philippe's uh, talents are uh, rampant what the heck is this El element fury and uh, yeah it, it must be something with the um, with the uh, with the speed right which is good my main guns Tracks uh, change to other, all right. I do believe it's still a, a, a good, um, yeah, faster reload minus the five to and torpedoes also fast five percent. Okay, chance to flood it's plus ten percent, which is ex extremely good, and also firing it's plus one. Oh, yes, oh, ship speed eight. Definitely a Kleber Republic or something like that with speed and a higher percent to put your enemy on fire or torpedoes. So yeah, but anyhow guys, what you want to do the next, okay, let's say if you distribute this, this uh, and you want has for this Republic, you, you, you know, uh, take a closer look to other YouTubers who put this uh, uh, captain at a republic or a battleship or a cruiser or whatever and and then what you want to do it's not press coop you have to press the operation and then voila guys before you do that you make sure and this is extremely important we only have 10 points kept the most important uh, um, advice I put this 800 um, percent commander experience and buff everything you have you know like everything you have at the maximum uh, credits you name it this should be as high as possible and then you press a battle or, you know let's battle in operation because here's the tricky uh, truth guys no matter how good battleship captain you are how good destroyer captain you can never beat in operation uh, a good cruiser captain I mean if I'm playing my mains or now no, next one Bayard in 10 battles in 10 battles probably six of them I will be the top player in experience credits and you name it and of course with this operation you only have to play a couple battles and you level up this dude from 10 to 20 in no time sure you can play it in random but then you will not gain as much credits you're not gain as much experience and level up uh, uh, if you are playing in random because you know it's kind of a suck to face a tier 10 uh, ships all the time and then and then it's not fun and enjoyable but when they just nuke you because after all you're just a light cruiser you know what i mean but in operation it's the best damn ship you can take in for your operation and that's the reason guys a premium ship at tier 8 a light cruiser or a heavy cruiser it's a must have because i do have the mains my highly recommend and, and you see mains is it's strong but he's not that strong when i press recall commander and i push this gunter lucier this two two combination with a lot of good experience uh, and you know operation you know, I level up this dude like I cannot level up him anymore. And same story with credit, same story with free experience and all that. You know what I mean? You will have a blast because of these two combination. It, it this is not crazy strong ship mains. It is, but together with this dude, 
it's absolutely hilarious strong it's almost too strong and same story if you want to succeed and highly recommend uh, of the best cruisers you can get uh, for the operation or mains number two i would i definitely say the chapayev now this dude is only a, a regular dude you know i do not have any idea captain but mainly i only played this uh, ship in operation and on the third yes you can definitely uh, play mogami mogami it's a uh, crazy strong and what do you know i have this yamamoto uh, badass captain and now for the french uh, of course i do have the bayard and the philippe um, which i believe it fits like a freaking gloves all those ships that i mentioned it's the best combination you can have it's the best this this is the reason i playing operation to level up that dude and to uh, make the daily uh, what do you call it uh, yes combat missions and daily missions all that like nobody's business because i know in five games i will be on the top uh, because i know how to play and the operation after all you you know everything that you need to know about where to move how to aim and so on so yeah uh, playing um, a destroyer in this operation it's not a good idea and you may argue that probably the best you can do is play a battleship or definitely a cruiser with high dpm no problem with this one it does not have the highest uh, dpm and let's go to equipment i kind of forgot to mention it has a main battery modification one yes sir um all right uh they do recommend here this one um, however, however, guys, I honestly believe that this is the best thing you can do. I know it cost me a lot of uh, coals, but I do have a coupons. So yeah, twelve thousand. Uh, listen, I know it, it is kind of uh, expensive, uh, but what I'm trying to say is that if you want to in random battles to survive probably this is not a bad idea to have plus 30 percent in your speed boost it's absolutely uh, hilarious how much speed boost do we not have now uh, 234 seconds yeah hmm yes exactly what i mean it's one hell of a speedy demon uh with this equipment and uh, definitely the aiming what the heck is this uh main battery no this is how uh, how fast you you no this is absolutely a must have yes 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 and over here you can no matter what you take if you take the proportion a uh, steering gear if you want to have a sp fast speed and turning like a freaking maniac it's not bad but uh, on the other hand over here if you choose this one uh, or this one it's not uh, either bad but speed in 243 uh, seconds with this one it's probably uh, not not a brain and of course the concealment the gimmick of a bounty ship is definitely their speed and of course this one main battery reload um, burster uh, when you push this one uh, your main battery reload time it's 50 percent faster otherwise 7.5 seconds now 7.5 seconds it's not uh, bad but not great either remember and this is the uh, biggest difference uh, 7.5 second it's all right matter of fact it's uh, close to uh, cleveland and um, chapayev right chapayev chapayev's eight second okay so you reload slightly faster than chapayev however remember this guys Chapev has 12 guns, 12 freaking guns, and they are uh, rail road. They are they are <laughs> they are rail guns. <laughs> they hit very hard, and uh, the percent to put your enemy on fire it's whopping 13 percent. And um, the Bayard, how many? How? Oh, it's only 12 percent. But then you can add this one and uh, th there is uh, another flag that you can have this one you know you can buy it yes so 
you can add this one and uh, no this one sorry Victor Lima yeah let's buy it now together with those two flags ladies and gents we have 13 percent so yeah i did not know that this uh, stupid chap has crazy high percent put your enemy on fire and 12 guns so yeah it is a fire starter but bayard is definitely a second one uh, not bad now we have 13 percent um uh, but keep that in mind guys that the, the shells are 870 which is not great but not bad item there is not quite like Cleveland's but not like Chapaev or Hipper or Tallinn is it like Mainz maybe no Mainz has 960 but uh, don't get yourself full cuts they fell very f uh, fast so it's maybe it's something between a Cleveland and Chapaev I do believe yeah definitely better than uh, than uh, Cleveland that's the sad part about the Cleveland it's the very very uh, short range and uh, very floaty range you're never gonna hit a damn thing at 15 kilometers and Chapaev has rail guns the best tier 8 guns at uh, for light cruisers you know 960 meters per second 30 uh, percent and then the Bayard yeah, ladies and just I just want to see the different 870 um, but uh, the range is fantastic 16.4 which is not bad not bad 16.4 what does the mains has 17.5 so yeah this you see this is the broke part about this uh, mains that it reloads every six seconds and have 12 guns and this together with the uh, loot chair when you have over 200 hits and you'll have 200 hits in each and every operation and this thing reloads every i don't know 4.6 seconds or something crazy with adrenaline rush so it's a uh yeah it's a dpm monster that's the thing it's a dpm monster however however i still believe that if you do not have mains and if you, if you want to have a free premium ship which earn a lot of credits a lot of free experience a lot of um, operations you know uh, i do believe it's fun ship perhaps this combination of much more agile remember the mains it's a slug as all hell uh, you are almost it's like, it's like a very slow moving uh, cruiser easy to hit if you are a uh, uh, enemy battleship uh, on the other hand I do I still believe that the, the French like Bayard and many other they are very agile they turn freaking on, on a dime and probably this is the biggest difference I kind of uh, forgot to mention 10.6 kilometers it's all right not you know but I do not even put the concealment so the concealment definitely should be uh, pretty damn nice uh, yeah over here all right, okay, uh, 730 and rather shift 7.4. 730, 7.4. Uh, 7 yeah, uh, the rather shift on mains are um, uh, worse, you know. And uh, also, Chapaev has also kind of a crappy, ooh, really darn bad. Oh! So you see, that's the, that's the difference, you know what I mean? And I also that's the reason I kind of like the Mogami because the Mogami's uh, turning radius rather shift it's absolutely fantastic but not so much turning radius so yeah Bayard is much more agile and much much faster together with uh, this uh, now I kind of forgot for the love of God don't put a put the hydro you will most likely need it much more hydro instead of the stupid AA so yeah, this is the build guys, and this is the badass captain, Philippe. I almost use all my calls, so I need to play more games and eventually receive more call from uh, a shipyard build and uh, other uh, operation and, uh, you know, rewards. So guys, let me know in a comment below what you think about uh, this uh, badass free ship uh, Boyard. I believe it's a great ship, especially for the operations, but uh, who knows? But man, I kind of forgot, I do have to apologize. Bayard, for love of God, it has also 12 guns. 
uh, yeah, I do have to apologize. Then it's equal as strong as um, Chapayev, probably even stronger. So yeah, man, I I, I never owned this ship, so I I thought it's like uh, the regular Tech Three uh, ship, which I like. But by all probably it's a DPM freaking monster, especially with this Philippe and especially with Adrenal Rush and especially with um, uh, this consumable uh, when you press uh, to have a f faster or 50% faster reload of the main. Uh, you have to know when to use it. But yes, I, I do like this ship. It's a free ship and um, it's a strong ship. It's not a weak ship. I highly recommend if you do not have uh, uh, this ship on your port and if you're new players, yes, get the mission and get this one ship for free. Have a good one guys, take care and catch you in the next one, bye.